Hello there, hope you are doing great. Welcome back to another session on cyber security. In this session, we are going to take a look at what is the database vulnerability and what are the various database vulnerabilities that exist. So let us quickly move on to this definition. What is a database vulnerability? A database vulnerability is nothing but a weakness of flaw in the database management system. So what do you mean by a weakness of flaw? It can be as simple as this. See, the username is root and the password is null for your database management system. Or else sometimes we have the username to be root and password also to be root. So this uh, weakness can be uh, used by the hackers and they can gain unauthorized access into your database. So this is one of the weaknesses. What can be uh, another vulnerability or weakness for your DBMS? It can be like uh, putting your database management system in a public network. Public network in the sense, any remote uh, system can access your database over the network. So this is another weakness. So there are a lot of vulnerabilities that can happen or that exist for your database management system. And we'll quickly look at what are the various vulnerabilities that are possible. The first vulnerability is insider threats, your employees. See, your employees uh, can sometimes extract or dump data from your databases and sell it to the outside world. So this is uh, very difficult to track and um, this uh, is one of the important uh, threats, insider threats. The next uh, thing that we've already discussed, uh, default passwords like root and root, root and null or weak passwords, admin and admin like that. So. Uh, this is another uh, vulnerability that can exist in your database management system. SQL injection attacks, we have discussed a lot on SQL injection, manual and automated SQL injection. I'll be leaving the link for SQL injection attacks in the description below. You can have a look at it. So running uh, unauthorized SQL queries on your DB. So that is uh, falling under SQL injection and extensive user and user group privileges see if you can create a an user uh, say i create a an user by my name satish and then i can grant all privileges to this user grant all privileges on all tables so this user uh, is like you can delete a table you can add a table you can delete a database so such kind of privileges is uh, very dangerous if a user gets to have such privileges you have to be very cautious you should assign only the privilege privileges that a user needs not all privileges on all tables and databases for every user missing security patches for database so keep updating your versions of the uh, databases uh, update the patches audit trail tracking uh, maintaining log files uh, recovery files so it's like um, we should track what is changed in the database and who is making those changes when it is getting changed so that comes under audit trail tracking tracking and this should be enabled for your database management systems database backup attacks so we have a dbms backup policy wherein we take backups we can take the backups on tapes we'll mount the tapes somewhere so it's like uh, sometimes it's very difficult to attack or uh, get in get in physical access into your data centers but uh, database uh, backup uh, centers may have uh, uh, that kind of vulnerability wherein anybody can and uh, if you're not cautious about they can come in and uh, uh, get your backups and uh, data breaches can happen poor encryption and data breaches so when you talk about poor encryption it can be like uh, storing your passwords as plain text or storing critical information as plain text uh, not encrypting your data so all these things come under poor encryption and uh, by that uh, what will happen is data breaches can happen hackers can get hold of your uh, messages uh, that are not encrypted denial of service attacks it's like uh, uh, we have already discussed a lot of uh, things on denial of uh, service we have discussed on hping 3 so it's like um, bombarding your database management systems with a lot of uh, requests such that uh, it's not able to service uh, the genuine clients and uh, finally uh, we come out outdated uh, database protection tool and compliance so we don't have a database uh, management systems audit uh, policy or regulatory policies and uh, we our uh, database security tools are outdated so these are some of the vulnerabilities that can exist for a database management system and how we can prevent it or how what are the countermeasures we can take uh, we can uh, ensure physical database security, provide the necessary physical uh, uh, 
security for your data centers and servers and lockdown accounts and privileges give only privileges that are required for a user don't grant all privileges for all users uh, some users may not need uh, certain privileges so be cautious with what privileges you give to an user on your database patch the database servers keep it updated and disable public network access very important you should never let your database be accessible over the public network always ensure that it is in a private network uh, and uh, uh, anybody should not be able to access it uh, directly over the public network and if you're going to have passwords like root and null and you put that on the public network your data is definitely going to be uh, breached so that you have to be very cautious about encrypt all files and backups and see backups also should be encrypted encrypt all your files so that uh, hackers don't get hold of your data install the appropriate uh, web application firewalls and establish security and compliance policies so it's like uh, a database backup policy uh, can be in place which says uh, when the database backup should be taken and uh, where that uh, backup should be placed and who is responsible for accessing those uh, backups and uh, mounting those uh, backups in if we are in need of that so all these come under compliance policies and um, these policies should be audited and uh, regularly checked such that um, people are following these policies without any deviations